Gotcha, Dick Tooth. to turn invisible. That's interesting. How many hits does it does he take? I will kill every fire ghost in this place. And I need to do that actually. That's the requirement of the level is to kill all the fire ghosts. I wish there was a button that centered my camera that didn't also Z-target, because I'm convinced that Z-targeting actually doesn't help in this fight. That you want to not target his ass. I'm convinced. I've been convinced through the method of knowledge and understanding and physics and sentience. That makes two. We kill this guy. And we'll have free range to do basically whatever we want. Maybe Z targeting has nothing to do with his vulnerability because this guy has not allowed himself to become vulnerable at all. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to block him with my shield. He seems stunned when you do that. The Hylian shield can repel undead attacks. You know, they don't write that on the label. Oh, come on. Come on! Got him right in his face. Dude, they hate it when you shoot him in the face. It's hilarious. Is this the compass? It must be, because I already have the map and the bow, so this is the only other large chest in the in the whole place except for the boss key. Let's continue this way and see what's up here. Okay. This is another room that I'm gonna have to turn. Is there a locked door at the end of this hallway? Yes, there is, okay. What that means is, I'm gonna go back through the two ghost rooms, then go back through the room that kind of looks like that, but has that chest in it. I'm gonna straighten that room out. Oh, and I need to find another key, so I can do that now, right? I want to know why when they created this game, or Link to the Past actually is 
where I think this tradition started. Picking up the compass told you things about the the level that compasses wouldn't tell you. You know, compasses don't point to that sort of shit. Not how they work. So by shooting that eyeball thing, I untwisted the hallway so that when I walked into this room, I was walking on the wall rather than on the floor, which allowed me to get the boss key and fall through. This used to be the doorway, but now it's a hole in the ground that I will use for the murdering of skulls, which are called bubbles. Great. Come on, lock on. You're useless, Navi. They're called bubbles? Are you serious? Why are they called bubbles? Okay, where am I? Giant Deku Baba. Just casually how you have them. Oh, this is the 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 wall master that turns into three little wall masters. Let's show him what he's won. Okay, this is beneficial to my life and my needs. That's fine. So now I go back up here, I un unscrew the corkscrew hallway, and I've got the key that I'm gonna need to open up the door behind the green bubble. Which is gonna push me deeper into the into the level, right? Is that how video games work? What is this chest? Why is the game convinced that there's a chest right here? Oh wow. Okay. Hooray! Video games! Oh, shit. Okay, I should have grabbed that. Okay, that's fine. I'll just walk back up again. Come on. I just want to walk up the ladder. <laughs> Starting to get to be bedtime already. Jesus. It's early. I think I can defeat Shadow Ganon in the next 15 minutes, right? Can I do it? I want to. What kind of man I would like to be. Fucking bubble. Get out of here with that shit. <laughs> well, yeah, time is a, uh, time does fuck with you in this game. Doesn't fuck with you in this game nearly as much as it does in the next Zelda game, by the way. No, I got it. I got it. 
It was tasteful and appropriate. Okay, alright, okay, alright. Which Zelda game is next? The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Which I own the uh, 3DS version of. But I don't actually have a copy of on N64. So I have a couple of options available to me. I can either find it on the virtual console if it's available. Oh yeah, right. Or I can borrow it from Ehal, who has generously agreed to lend it to me, because he's a nice fella. But, that game required the use of the N64 expansion drive, which I don't have that either, so I gotta find one of those. There were a couple of games that required that. It was like extra memory or something. Not 100% sure precisely what it did. Uh, it is a slightly crisper looking game, graphically, even though it uses all the same elements, like... They just, they, they took all of the video, the visual things that they made for this game, and they just made a new game for it. But it did some things, like, I, I don't know, for whatever reason it required the use of a, uh... A special add-on doodad. Which it was packaged with, actually. The uh, Majora's Mask came packaged with the expansion drive, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe in a thing called love. Okay. Yes, I'm aware. It was RAM. Yeah. Memory is RAM. Oh, I can't first person in here, huh? That's fine. Okay, this is ghost number three. Looks like it's almost built for me, actually. No, don't climb it. Why would you climb? You loser! There's five blocks, but only four of them are needed to solve the puzzle. So they throw a fifth one in to screw with you. You gotta put the puzzle together so that it looks like the guy that you're trying to kill. And then you kill him. Just like that. And then the last one actually dies pretty easy. I think, if I remember right. being invulnerable for so long. This is such a stupid enemy design where, like, tell you what, let's make almost every enemy invulnerable for most of the time and then you have to kill them. 
Let's give the enemies all the power in dictating the pace of the fight. Let's, uh... Let's make the hero exercise patience 100% of the time. That'll be fun, won't it? I don't want to be patient. I want to be the hero. Bring it on. Oh, I gotta shoot him? That's fine. Come at me, bro! You gotta attack the one that, like, spins, or the first one that attacks, or whatever the pattern is. It's like he, he creates these mirror images of himself so that he can hide who he really is, and then he shows you. I think I get him if I do it one more time. That is all four of the ghosty ghosts. And the elevator is back. Or the elevator, as it's sometimes known. I guess I don't deserve those arrows. Okay, first of all, let's check... Alright, nothing. So let's turn the room. There's nothing there, and there's... There's some shit in this room. Okay, let's turn it back the way we had it originally, because I think I opened up the gates that were, um, or maybe not. Okay, so then let's turn it that way. Hey, there we are. You're a treasure. Come to me. Sweet. You know, pretty soon these uh, Skulltella guys are gonna give me a... Like, rumble pack? Power? Guess I'm gonna have to go out and get a rumble pack. It drives me nuts that I'm not playing this on all of my original hardware. It, it absolutely pisses me off that that's the case. Because... Once upon a time, I had fucking four rumble packs, and all kinds of, you know, I had like 12 N64 games, and I had four controllers, and I had all kind. I had save data for a thousand fucking games. Well, I had save data for 12 games, I guess. I had a memory pack for my, uh, I had a GoldenEye cart, no, not GoldenEye, the next one. The World Is Not Enough, I think, was the other N64, um... 007 game that nobody cared about because Goldeneye was out. Like, I had all of that shit. I just made a foolish decision in my desire to be generous with my family. This is a really cool fight. You come into this room and you're like, oh, what the hell? What am I even supposed to do, even? Shunk! Then we fuck some shit up. Do 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 do. Hey, it's your boy. No, I didn't have perfect dark. 
That was one that I always wanted, but I never had. So this boss fight is inspired by the original idea for Ocarina of Time, which was to be very similar to um, Super Mario 64 in its presentation. Where you would... Oh, fuck. I waited too long. It was very similar to Mario 64 in its presentation, where you would enter... pictures like you did in um, Mario 64. And Hyrule Castle was the central hub area. Got him. Barely got him. This is training for the final fight. Fuck. Too bad I died. I think I have another... Yeah, I got one... This is it, though, right? This is, like, my last... My last chance to prove that I'm a good gamer. LOL, good luck. You have got to be kidding me. Why? Why? Fuck this guy, man. Am I out of life? Am I fucking dead? No, I have one more. Okay. Oh, yeah, because before I walked in here, I went to the fairy fountain. I haven't heard him yet. I have not heard him yet. There we go. Look at him! You're targeting him! Look at him! This is training for the final fight. Well, one of the final fights. Because he does this shit to you, and then you volley it. It's also supposed to be kind of a throwback to Link to the Past, where you had to do this almost exact fight, like where you would repel the attacks from him and all that. The one that was also referenced in... Stop being so close to me and stop having the rope in the fucking way. Dude. I'm getting a little ticked off. I'm convinced that I'm timing this right. I'm clearly not, but like my brain is telling me, you're doing it right, you should be angry. And I mean, I'm not the computer, so I can't... You know, I'm not the game. I don't think he has a whole lot left in him. But then again, neither do I. I also don't recall missing this often in my youth. You know, like where the beam doesn't go right back to him. Nice. Nailed it. Gonna have to stop off at the fairy fountain to uh, recover all of my fairies, but made some good progress. Killed the man. So that wasn't Ganon, by the way.
You did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Easy? You call that easy? What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish you to the gap between dimensions. Hooray! Man, that button makes me feel so good sometimes. I just feel good when I push that button, yo. Alright, so we're gonna meet the forest sage who has been trapped in the temple. And we're gonna go through this every time we finish a dungeon. It's basically the same thing as, like, when we, uh... When we would get the crystals and get the girls out of the dungeons in Link to the Past. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the Forest Temple. I know you. You taught me a song a long time ago. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the Forest Sage and help you. Now please take this medallion that does nothing except that I have to collect all of them in order to move forward. Same thing with the crystals in the other game. But it is kind of neat that all of the sages are characters from my past, except like the desert one, which she doesn't She's not actually really, like, a, a long friend or important character, other than she shows up at the end to be the important character. She's really cool, don't get me wrong. She's clearly the influence for, um, the Gerudo champion in Breath of the Wild, which, she was a great character. But, I don't know. I feel like it was an odd theme that all the early ones are people who, like, were very influential in your quest when you were young, and then the last one is like, yeah, and by the way, it's me too. I like that a lot, man. That's funny to me. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. So now there's a new Deku Tree growing, so now everyone's gonna be happy. Seen your old friends, none of them recognized you with your grown up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You're actually a Hylian. Oh yeah, that's right. He gives me, like, my background in there now, doesn't he? How did the seed who has, like, just been born know my family backstory and all this? Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's very interesting. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. So what he's telling me is that my mom brought me to the forest and left me in the custody of the Great Deku Tree to be raised in the forest, which is, I understand that, I accept that. But what is more interesting to me is that this happened during a war where the Hylian king, king whoever Hyrule, was unifying the country. Unifying it against what, first of all, is my first question, and secondly, is this, like, the event that made it so that the Gorons and the Zora are okay with Hylians because they haven't been in previous games? Like, what... Was this war a long, long time ago and I lived as an immortal child in the forest until I left? Like, what? what's... What's the story here? Like, that's actually very interesting to me. It never occurred to me that that was what was happening. Uh, I must save the land of Hyrule. I'm really starting to get tired of characters telling me that. It's clear to me that that's what I'm supposed to do. Break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. I will. Next week on Saturday Night Zelda. Thank you everybody very much for hanging out. Tomorrow we'll be doing Super Mario Sunday for a while. Good King whoever. That's exactly correct. Um, 
Super Mario Sunday will occur tomorrow between the hours of 6 and almost 9 Eastern Time because I gotta go to Game of Thrones night, man. It's like episode 5. We're almost done the season. Then we're gonna be back to the regular Warcraft and uh, Mario streaming schedule. But uh, what happens after that? Monday is the converted podcast. That'll be a lot of fun. Tuesday is Here's of the Storm and Warcraft stuff. Wednesday is going to be Old School Wednesday. We're going to play a little bit more Warcraft 3 and then back to Saturday Night Zelda the following Saturday. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out tonight. And until next time, that it will be game over. Take it easy.